Oh my gosh, this girl. Okay, Hayden. We are grounding her. We are grounding her. Hi, and welcome back to another episode of the 100 Baby Challenge on Short Lifespan. My name is Christy, and oh my gosh, I don't want to play this episode. On the one hand, we... Oh god, okay. First, let's take care of this. Um, go discipline. Just ask. Um, on the one hand, we have no toddlers, which is amazing. But this is Hayden's. Come on, get out of the fridge. This is Hayden's last episode. She will perish by the end of this episode. And I'm not ready. No. <laughs> Oh, okay, but let's get her taken care of. Oh, Oleana, you should, you know, take care of yourself too. You're gonna be taking care of the whole house. Oh, and we need someone to clean this coop. Oh my gosh. Oh, and someone made, made a mess, but you're cleaning it. Okay, let's clean that coop. And okay, Clover is fine. <laughs> oh, but yes, the kids, or at least Paxton and Peyton, will be going to school. Not the other four, and you work. Why don't you do some cooking? Just a simple fruit salad. You know, get used to it. And where's our next matriarch? Oh, she's right here doing her homework, getting ready to make all the babies, except she's a romantic. Oh, this is going to be interesting. So let's check if we have any birthdays. Oh no. Um, Paxton needs one more skill up. But Peyton could become an A student. And then. Oh, are you guys arguing? Complain about liars. Okay, yeah, totally get it. So it looks like no birthdays today. But maybe we can get Paxton's up and they can become teens tomorrow. Okay, Oleana's off to her first day of work. Have fun. Or is it her first day? Or is her second? I don't know. But Oleana is taking on her responsibilities. Peyton, or Peyton, Hayden gets to do whatever she wants. Oh, Quincy is teasing Quentin about his grades. Oh, Quincy's not sociable. But he's mentally gifted, so he's like, yeah, I'm smarter than you. And now you're going to tease about your his crush? Oh, how does he have a crush? He hasn't been to school yet. And they didn't know anyone outside of family as toddlers. Oh, we want to play with the doctor set. Oh, Omelette is getting old, and so is cornbread. Here, go play doctor. You're eating your milk bread. Okay. You're very sad about someone dying. Oh, Hayden! She is right in front of you. Okay, discipline. Be firm. Tell her not to make a mess. Apparently, it did not stick the first time. Okay. I think that I think that was good. Oh, I don't know what's going on. Oh, this household is just getting crazy. Oh, I hope your birthday was great. Oh, you guys have the same birthday. Oh, and our future baby maker is doing a good job taking care of the teddy. How cute. Okay, she is a little bit lost. Okay. Oh, Hayden, don't forget about your giant baby, Clover. You need to clean her. Maybe give her a pet. And we should probably milk her. We haven't milked her in a while. Um, Yeah. And our chickens. Oh, Cornbread the Elder. Biscuits an adult. Omelette's an elder. Oh, Gravy's an adult. And Pepper's a young adult. Noodle's a young adult. And Fluff is a young adult. How is Fluff only a young adult? I feel like we gave that, um, her that sweater so long ago. Oh, what? I saw your empathy going down. What are you two chatting about? Complain about your skin to your sister. Okay. Oh, Houston has shown up. He's an adult. Oh, okay. We'll invite him in. 
He's like the only one of the only grandchild. Oh, he brought us a gift. He's one of the only grandkids that like comes by. What did you bring? A hydroponic planter. Thank you. And we're going to go talk to the plants. You know, we gotta stay in tune with our garden and our old age. Oh man, we're sad. Oh, okay. Quincy, why don't you like throw it away? Oh my gosh, Cairo. Okay, we are going to have to like put her in timeout, I think. Um, yeah. Okay, give her a timeout. She is not learning at all. Just in front of the maid. Is the maid pregnant? Pregnant? Come on. Oh, the maid is having a baby girl. Cute. Ooh, how are you gonna handle this? Ooh, those are angry eyebrows. That, yep, that was some negative there. But, okay, she is sitting in timeout right here. Quincy, did you put yourself in timeout? And yeah, let's make some dango. I know you want to go cry in bed, but no. Okay, Cairo's in timeout. Oh my gosh, these kids. Oh. Go, go pee or something. You, okay, you're fine. Quinn's fine. She's feeling hurt. Oh. Okay, Paxson's still a B. Oh, and Peyton's still a B. But, oh, you want to do your homework, but we need to get your skill up. Your motor is level three. Let's turn on some, let's do some Latin pop, and why don't you dance? What, oh, you need some advice? Aw. Unwelcome present? No, it's it was yours. Be grateful. Okay, how was your time out? Are you doing better? Oh, you're delirious? You're you're sick? Oh, bitter. Oh, she did not like getting put in time out. <laughs> I like the way he dances. Like just like very slow and gentle punches down. Aw. Just vibing in the background. Oh no, what was that evil? Oh my gosh, these kids. Oh no, you're sick. Let's get you some medicine. Oh, and uh, Eliana's home. Okay, let's. Dad, there's too much going on. But oh, she was already promoted to open mic seeker. Good job, Oliana. Yeah, you don't look too um, excited. But here, let's get you in the shower. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Wake up. We are grounding her. This is... You know, we're, we're just yelling at her. Because I would probably... That's four times in a row. It's like on one day. I don't know if I'd be able to like keep my cool. Like, I don't... I really don't like them yelling but oh, girl you are pushing the boundary okay this is not going to help your relationship oh, she your responsibility keeps going up but here can we force her to clean up okay clean up the mess all right and Okay, we need to feed Clover. Who's calling? Oh, Hinata. No, sorry, Dad. Oh, I ordered medicine and then, um, yeah, I forgot immediately. No, I keep, oh, I keep missing um, what they are being mean about. I'm surprised they even have, like, any friendship with each other. They're just all mean to each other. Oh, my gosh, this girl. Okay, Hayden. We are grounding her. We are grounding her. She does not learn. Oh my gosh. It's kind of driving me crazy now. It's like, it's getting ridiculous. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh, no TV, no computer, no leaving the house. 
Ooh. What should we do? I mean, you guys don't really have friends. You don't really leave the house. Um, she do no music, no toys or games. Let's do no toys or games. Grounded. I've been grounded. Can't play with any toys or games. Oh. Okay, kid, how are you doing? Halfway there. Come on. You know what? Video game, I think, would be... Oh, Hayden's life's coming to an end. No. I think video game might go faster. Oh, Clover is old now. Oh, my gosh. No. Everyone is getting... Everyone's dying. Okay, you're doing your homework. I want you both to become A students tomorrow, please. Okay, motor level four. Good job, Paxton. Now let's go to sleep. Yeah, everyone in bed. Probably not for very long because someone went to bed pretty early. Okay, we got Quentin up. It's only two in the morning. Here, we're going to have you grab a shower and then you can eat. And Hayden is awake now, feeling flirty. And oh no, it's glowing. Oh no, here, come take a shower. Oliana is awake. You can grab some food. Oh, you're gonna grab some bread. Okay. And she does not work today. Oh, you're gonna be home for when mom dies. No. Oh my gosh, Quentin. Oh these kids he's probably not gonna listen to her because he doesn't like elders so discipline be firm tell not to make a mess okay some of these kids are awake don't be stinky okay you can feed yourself they are going to school for the first time did you discipline him i i don't know i missed it Okay, Hayden, do whatever you your heart desires on your last day in the Sim Earth. We're going to sell your painting just in case you want to paint. Okay, we should get you food, though. Oh, the best avoid critter. You know what? I usually go with the first one, but we're going to say both are equal. They're already turning to Oleana for advice. Oh, Simmering Rage. I haven't seen this. Cairo still feels a quiet fury beneath the surface from grudges not yet forgotten. Oh my. Okay, let's check on these animals. Oliana, you will be home, so you get to help around the house. We don't want Hayden to have to, you know, work herself too hard. And all the kids are off to school. Um, you probably should have peed before you left. So we just have Hayden and Oleana in the house. Oh, I did, and we, I have no idea how long she has. Oh, is that your final painting? It's very nice. Oh, and you're, you're back to cleaning. Okay. Um, both Hayden and Clover are elders. Oh, I don't want to be here when um Clover dies. I don't know which one I'd be more sad about. No, wh what? I, that was fast. Oh my gosh. Oh, right next, right next to Clover. Oh my gosh, Hayden. Oh, okay, Clover's making room for Grim. Oleana's back here harvesting. Oh my gosh. No. This is just like too sad. Like. Okay, they really let. Oh. Um, okay, just copy of classmates. No, nothing really matters right now. We got. Your mother has died. Just lying there, not moving. Oh my gosh. Oh, now Oleana realizes. She's like, oh, I just thought mom fell down. No big deal. But no. Oh. Oh, Clover, you... Okay. 
Hayden is really one of my favorite Sims I have played in a long time. Okay, you guys, um, just do whatever. I'm not even reading it. Oh, there it is. No. Okay, at least most of the kids weren't home. Oh, I forgot about the inheritance. She's had so many kids. So we went from like over 200,000 to just 87,000 simoleons. So Quinn might not get... Oh no, okay. Oliana, I know you are sad, but can you get the mail that you need to like feed yourself? And then... Oh. There's Hayden. What was what, your... Rest in pieces, yes. But we're going to put her in your inventory. And I think... Because Oliana is not... Oh, yeah, she's a grossed out by... Oh, she's grossed out by death. Uh, but, you know, Oliana's not really experienced in the parenting aspect. I think maybe she will try to want to spare the kids... Maybe she'll think that's the right thing to do. I don't know. I mean, that is pretty difficult decision. So she's going to bring Hayden to the cemetery. But what I think I also want to do is... <clears throat> okay. Um, what I think I also want to do is go visit a few of the households where some of Hayden's kids have lived and maybe try to collect some urns and headstones and all that to bring to the cemetery because I'm sure there are a lot out there. But let's kind of sell a bunch of this stuff. Okay, 5,000. Okay, well, sorry Quinn, you don't get as much money as um thought you were going to. Now the question is, where did everyone live? I don't really remember. I think this was one of them. I know we did pick up like Austin's, but I'm sure maybe other people have died since then because I think this is where Austin lived. And yeah, we'll just wing it. Okay, this is now the Patrick household. Are there any outside? Okay, nope. Let's go check inside. Oh, what do you know? There is one right here. Krista Bailey Moon. Okay, we're taking you. Sorry if I'm stealing your loved ones. I'm bringing them to the cemetery. Okay, none right there. They are usually in the doorway. Oh, Leah is inviting us over. Let's go to her house. It doesn't look like there are any other graves um, here. And Leah lives on Willow Creek as well. Aw, and then there's little Isabella. And I oh, don't know who that is. Okay, do you have any graves? Doesn't look like it. Let's check upstairs. Nope, your house is clean. I kind of expected just to be able to go into any house and someone's going to be dead. Okay, I think it was this apartment. I really wish once you like hovered over the door, it told you whose house it is. I, I forget. Okay, this... Oh, someone made a mess. Um, okay, no urns. I'm kind of surprised. I really expected to come across a lot of urns. Should I just try, like... Oh, I can't. Mm. Okay. Mm, nope, not that. Next location. Okay, let's check Ivan. Oh, and Maisie's here. Anybody die here? No. I, I mean, I'm kind of disappointed. I really thought there would be urns everywhere. I mean... A lot of people have died. Where did they all go? I mean, do the urns like just disappear after a while? I didn't think they would. 
Okay, I'm going to try a couple more times. Okay, let's try this apartment. Wow, no urns. I mean, I've watched other, like, Sims or Summers do playthroughs through legacies and whatnot, and they'll, they'll go, no, oh, just walking in on someone, and they'll go somewhere, and they'll just be a bunch of urns. Oh, you get nauseated from viola um, violating someone's privacy. Maybe I should try, like, a public or, like, a public venue. All right, has anyone died at the nightclub? Or anywhere? No, it doesn't look like it. No one has. Okay, I'm, like, pretty disappointed. What, you want to go prank the toilet? Okay, I have found them. Oh, yeah. At the Vitors, I don't see any... Oh, I, I saw an urn. I saw one. You know there's going to be one at Caleb's. Who do we got? Reese Vitor. Alright, we've gotten two. I was hoping to collect like ten of them. Okay, well... It's got me a little bit optimistic, which is, which is weird. Um, okay, keep going. Oh, we found one. Robbie Harris. Okay. Here, I mean, there's a vampire. Oh, a pregnant vampire. Let's see. You out down Lothario's daughter, and you are having a little boy with Robbie who died. He must have died recently. Any more? Anything in the... Nope, nothing in the doorway. Okay, let's try another one. Oh, the kids are back from school, and Paxson's an A, and so is Peyton. We're checking another house. Just feel like we need a cart yelling, bring out your dad. Okay, this one, this house looks clean. No urns. If she wants to prank every toilet, everywhere we've gone, she has tried to prank the toilets. Okay, last house for now. They're usually... Oh, there we go. This is what I was looking for. Oh, oh, Raphael. Wow. So we have Orange Bailey Moon, Naoki Ito, Ninami, Nigumi, and Tulia. Okay, this was what I wanted. Okay, let's check the house and say they're either like right outside. Oh, it, who started a fire? Monique, whoever you are, you started a fire. Okay, no, we, so maybe we should stick around. Someone might die. Oh, there's the fire. Well, let's wait and see if she puts herself out. And Oleana's going to go uh, prank the toilet. You are not doing a very good job. Nobody is around to help you. Oh, you're just like standing there. Okay, there's nobody in. Oh, now they're running. Anybody going to help her? Oh, I see no other urns. Oh, Oleana's gonna go troll the forms. Okay, how, this is a long lasting fire. Okay, yep. Good thing we stuck around. Okay, let's wait for Grim. <laughs> and mischief, mischief level 2. Yay! So is nobody going to put out the fire? Now we just have a grill on... Oh, there we go. It's completely charred now. Sorry, Monique. You know, if I didn't show up, you'd probably still be alive. But we had, you know, we had come collect all the gravestones outside the house. And we will collect yours. There we go. Okay. Oliana, you did not even care. Were you watching it, like, out the window? 
Oh, they're all like, wait, where did it go? Okay, let's go and head to the cemetery. Okay, are there any gravestones outside of the cemetery? No. Okay, let's go ahead and put these down. So we have, oh, here's Hayden. We'll put you right there. There's Kaysen and Moises. And then, um, sorry, Monique. Okay, Krista. And we're going to just put you all out here. Oh, she's going to go mourn Moises. Aw. Did you? You didn't even know him. Okay, let's go home. We have a cake to make. Okay, everyone is sad, but Cairo. She's feeling energized. Oliana, here, we'll let you pee. And then let's... We gotta age up Paxson and Peyton. Okay, well, let's just make a hamburger cake. There we go. And how are the animals? Oh, here. Cairo, since you're not sad. <clears throat> we got some kids doing their homework, and they're all chatting. Hopefully, no one's being mean. It looks like everyone's getting along for now. We're, no, don't make a mess. Go pee. Wait, what is your cooking even at? Level three, I mean, not terrible. So, Oliana, please don't start a fire. We've had enough of Grim today. And we need the kids to age up first. Oh, and you were making a mess upstairs? Mmm. Okay, let's add birthday candles. Where were you making a mess? I don't know where. Okay. Okay, Paxton, you are first. Go blow out your candles. And then, okay. Peyton's taking a nap. Oh, yeah, Quinn can like hip-hop. I like that. Okay, come on. Oh, where are you? Okay, and you are self-assured. Oh, okay. You're timid, but self-assured, serious, and optimistic. Oh, right. Pick a number between 1 and 13. It's 7. 7. Oh, fortune. Pick a number between 1 and 2. That would be 2. He wants... He's a mansion baron. Okay. Oh, and look at him. Oh, I mean, you got some good um, skin details there. Okay, Peyton, it's your turn. Yeah, we just need to really get rid of that hairline. And also um, double check to make sure it didn't make... I think it, the skin tone looks about right. Okay, Peyton, let's see what you like. look like. Are you going to age up nicely like your brother? Oh, outside. And you're also a genius. You're a bad-natured genius. Okay. Pick a number between 1 and 13. It's 13. 13. Ooh, wellness. Pick a number between 1 and 3. The answer is 1. All right, he wants to be a self-care specialist. Interesting. But let's go quickly. Okay. That hair... Not really work. Oh my gosh, Cairo. No. You know what? Go clean the coop. Um, yeah, let's go fix these boys up and Cass. So here we have Paxton. I really didn't touch their skin details at all. I just changed their eyebrows, gave them lashes, and changed their hair. But here are his outfits. You know, he, I think he's a very good looking. And here is Peyton. And I aged him up with plugs and a septum. 
accept him ring, so I decided to keep it there. And here are his outfits. All right, the twins are teens now. So once they become young adults, I'll move them out right away just to have less Sims to manage. Okay, I am going to leave this episode right here. Oh, Quinn is going to take a nap, but we got the twins aged up. Hopefully next episode, I don't know, it might be a stretch to age up the quadruplets because they're all C students and um okay they all have I think they should all be at level two at least yes and okay Oliana is asleep no you're not taking a piece of that cake but um yeah it was a bit much happening today with Hayden oh, I'm so sad about that she's gone we did go around and collect some graves, so we were helping clean up the neighborhoods and um, you know helping people take care of their deceased. So I think that's like my new favorite activity right now. Might have to do that a couple more times. Okay, you don't have to like nap on the couch. It's 11 o'clock at night. You can go to bed. But next episode, we'll try to get the quadruplets aged up into teens themselves, hopefully. I'll be one step closer to Quinn uh, starting her baby making journey. Technically, she can start having kids as a teen because I have that enabled, but we won't do that. We'll wait until she is an adult. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button. Please subscribe and I will catch you next time. Bye.